I want to move on to uh, have a little bit of fun, hopefully, with uh, Jim Acosta. So the score story there, I did a whole video. You can see it scroll down or on my YouTube. Jim Acosta was asking a question, and he asked a question, and Trump, as anyone does in a press conference, you eventually go to the next question, and Jim Acosta said, no, 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 I wanna ask two questions, let me ask two questions, and Trump was like, no. There's literally like dozens of reporters, not every reporter can even get one question, so I don't know if anyone ever gets two questions, it seems highly unlikely. Uh, so Jim Acosta wanted two questions, the aide came to take the, the microphone, and you can see clear as day that Jim Acosta just like pushed her arm down. Uh, I'm not saying he assaulted her full on, but he definitely touched her. I mean, that's without a question. He touched her and tried to move her arm away from her grabbing the mic. She went to grab the mic. He was like, you know, get away. This is my microphone. So he got uh, banned either permanently or temporarily from the White House, as he probably should, at least temporarily. I mean, he has no ethics. I don't care if you're a Republican or liberal. Once again, content of character. That's not how you act in the White House. So I, I don't care if you work for CNN or Fox News. I've been very critical of Fox News recently because I think they're turning into another CNN. It's really scary. And then the only decent person they have, Tucker Carlson, he's got terrorists outside his house banging on his door terrorizing his wife. I mean, this is really sick stuff that's going on in this country. I'm always happy. I'm optimistic. I'm uh, not going to let it ruin my day per se. But I, I mean, to say that this hasn't been a disgusting 24 hours is hard for me to say. So Jim Acosta, it's not a big deal that he touched a lady. That's not the big deal. He lies about it, so he says on TV, oh, I never touched her, even though there's there's video footage of him touching her, him touching her, him touching It's so obvious, huge red flag, and I'm, I'm gonna get into conservatives and Republicans who lie too, because you know what, I gotta keep it fair. I can't I can't stay silent just to play a team sport. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, so he lies on TV, says he didn't touch her, which is very clear, and Paul Joseph Watson from InfoWars posts like a GIF or a video with the frame rate shifted not because he purposely shifted it because depending what quality of video or gif that you use it shifts the frame rate you literally when you bounce out videos you can change the frame rate yourself this is not uncommon so he posts a clear video of, of acosta doing that so jim acosta and his media cronies who wear suits i call them the charlatans in suits who lie to you every day on television and who take advantage of you because you don't like trump oh you don't like trump here let me lie to you and give you pharmacy pills that's what they do um so he's, he gets the whole media to say, oh, InfoWars. It's InfoWars who's saying that I didn't touch, I didn't touch, oh, I didn't touch her, it's InfoWars. So if you, once again, it's the Bernie Sanders game. If you don't disagree, if you don't agree with me, you're racist. If you don't agree with me, you're InfoWars. You're a conspiracy theorist because Paul Joseph Watson uh, posted the video. This is the most cowardly, low thing they could do. But this is also, I mean, I, I had a great conversation with somebody who worked for an anti-communist paper that does a lot of work with the Chinese. It's called Epoch Times, really cool guy. He told me this is communist, this is basic communist tactics. As far as like communist dictatorships, this is what they do. They hide behind media, they own all the mass media, they try to control everything, and if you disagree with them in any way, they'll ruin your life, they'll call you racist, they have a word for everything to stop all dissenters. Uh, Bernie's playing the game, Jim Acosta's playing the game, Sank Uger's playing the game, they're all playing the game, the whole left. Uh, but, so, he says it's InfoWars if you disagree, which is not true. There's video footage, super dishonest. And I wanna say with Paul Joseph Watson real quick too. Paul Joseph Watson is one of the best uh, young, I don't know how old he is, but young content creators. He's one of the best YouTubers, video creators, and he's a really honest reporter. He's very real. I don't always agree with, you know, maybe his attitude or his perspective on everything maybe, but I have a very high overlap with Paul Joseph Watson. I think he's one of the realest ones. I post his uh, posts a lot of times. He does good, good work. Alex Jones from InfoWars was very smart to hire Paul Joseph Watson. Paul Joseph Watson's great. That's a genius hire from, from Alex Jones. CNN should have hired Paul Joseph Watson. Fox News should have hired Paul Joseph Watson. CBS should have hired Paul Joseph Watson. Paul Joseph Watson is a rock star. And there's many people like him, especially a lot of my associates and friends and news who mainstream media is sleeping on. I know a lot of people that are way better than the people on TV, uh, but for some reason they don't hire uh, my friends. So Paul Joseph Watson, good reporter. Doesn't matter that he works for InfoWars. What's, what's, the, what's the thing at hand? What's the thing at hand? They can't tell you, they say InfoWars, delete them off social media. Paul Joseph Watson works for InfoWars. They think that we're stupid. And I really just don't like liars. That should be a huge red flag for anybody. And I, I do wanna say, you know, I've been holding my tongue, but I'm just gonna say it in the nicest, most respectful way possible. 
I don't like when I see this on the Republican side either. Because if you lie to me, if you lie to me about something that there's video footage for, and you try to freak out and mobilize all your friends against anybody who disagrees, even though there's video footage, I don't care if you're Democrat like Jim Acosta, it's an obvious red flag. You are obviously not to be trusted. You obviously have no char character. Now I'm gonna go on the right. Candace Owens, you know, I helped her launch her career. She's been very great without me. You know, done a lot of work that I haven't done. Very cool, supports Trump, you know what I'm saying? Calls out liars. I love it. I love everything she's doing. I've promoted Candace so many times. Kanye West says that he never told her to de design the logo of the shirt. So she says, you know, Kanye said, I never, I never designed it. I gave her to the designer. She writes a whole apology and says, oh, I never said that Kanye designed the shirts. That's the fake news media. Once again, I love Candace Owens. I love the work she does. I like her a lot more than Jim Acosta, and I have a way more personally and, and politically connected to Candace Owens. I like her, but that's a huge red flag. I'm sorry. I don't like it on the Republican side either. If you're going to lie to me, there's video footage of you saying that Kanye West designed the logo and helped design the logo, and then you say, how dare them say he designed the shirts? I never said that, and then you start attacking people who suggest otherwise. I don't know. It just, it screams no character. It screams like red flag. I, I don't care if it's Sean Hannity, Candace Owens, Jim Acosta, Bernie Sanders, Trump, this person, that person. I don't like it. I don't know. If you're going to lie to me about video footage, what's the point of, what's, what's the point? Because someone with no character on either side, they're eventually going to burn you. And, and that's how stupid that Jim Acosta thinks we are. And I don't know, that's how, that's how team sport it is on the right. Nobody cares. They're like, oh, no, it's okay as long as you lie in our direction. But that's the problem that we have because we have a bunch of people that are pushing spiritual and mental illness onto our people. They'll lie when it, it works in their favor and everyone's just cool with it on the left or the right because they're like, eh, well, they're lying, but it's okay because you know they're playing my team game. That's half the problem we have. And that's half the problem I always say. I stick by my mantra, change yourself to change the world. Because all I see on the right and the left, and no disrespect to anybody, this goes beyond Jim Acosta or anyone else, I see a bunch of people who think they're so much better than the people at the top, but they're really not. So if we replace all the elites with a bunch of these new school progressive socialists and like, you know, all these new school Republicans, I don't see that much improvement. I see a few gems for sure. I see, but that's why it doesn't matter. None of this really matters because nobody wants to change themselves to change the world. They expect others to do things that they can't even do. They expect the, lot, the left to tell the truth when they can't tell the truth. They expect the left to not be emotional and hateful and nasty and team player like team sport when we can't do the same as well. So it just seems like, uh, you know, uh, something that maybe will never change if people don't wanna change themselves. But I, I find it very cowardly that Jim Acosta is, you know, attacking Paul Joseph Watson for sharing a clip and if you look at the clip, the frame rate has changed. BuzzFeed did a good piece on it. The frame rate's changed because he changed the video quality of it. I believe he changed it to a GIF or a different video, whereas there's 20,000 videos. It doesn't matter if Paul Joseph Watson, Alex Jones posted it, I posted it. Is it true or is it not? And I find anybody that won't just get to the truth, won't just get to the facts and says, no, you're racist if you disagree with me. Oh no, you're conspiracy theory if you disagree with me. When there's video footage, I mean, a huge L for Jim Acosta, but once again, I just don't think people are gonna care because people on the left hate Trump so much and love socialist to communist policies, or maybe neither, maybe they just want welfare programs, maybe they want healthcare, maybe they have a personal experience that leads them to the left. Maybe they really don't like Republicans and conservatives. Maybe they really like uh, birth control. I don't know, like there's many reasons, but all I know is there's millions of people on the left who just don't care what Jim Acosta does. They'll retweet him, they'll share him, they'll call him an activist, they'll say he's fighting for free press. Doesn't matter who he touches or lies. And there's people on the right. Doesn't matter what people on the right do. They could cheat, they could lie, they could you know, deceive the, the public, they could you know, have video footage and not tell the truth, and, and that's okay. Uh, so overall, I'm just gonna have a rare moment of uh, realness and be like, you know, I'm not hating on Jim Acosta, I'm not hating on Candace, I'm not hating on any Republicans or conservatives. It's, it's not out of hate. It's out of concern for the truth. It's out of concern for content of character. It's out of concern for a group of people that want other people on the other side to have qualities and spiritual energy that both sides are lacking. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will be more fun. I like joking more, but when I have to start with the tragedy where 12 people were murdered, uh, you know, at a place that, you know, people go that I know, 
it's not a fun time. And uh, when you have the left, you know, pushing identity politics to peak levels, like literally 20, 30, 40, 50 times as much as I, I see on the right, they can't have a conversation without race. And if you don't agree with them, you're absolutely racist and there's nothing you can do about it. They'll try to ruin your life, protest outside your house, smash your door. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know where to go from here, but I will continue to call out bad people, say my piece, try to spread some love amongst the chaos, and uh, you know, hold people accountable for the horrific crimes against humanity that they continuously pull in many, many ways. So thank you guys again. Appreciate you uh, supporting and just being here in general, like, shares, all that stuff. Scroll down my feed on Facebook if you haven't seen today. I had a lot of good posts. Some were pretty funny, some were pretty real. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow.